Hello, this is Neil from MyPaintGirls.com and this is a uh, guide to how to draw females um, from different ages. Now, I'm going to put this guide up on my DeviantArt account and I'll, I'll link to it once it's on there. Someone asked me to do a tutorial on how to draw you know, people in different ages. And I decided, you know what, it would probably be more beneficial if I just drew a guide and then discussed a lot of things that make them different. Um, because it'd be it'd take too long to actually draw each one individually while I'm trying to discuss the differences and stuff like that. So it'd be easier just to have the guide with an explanation. So here's the explanation to this guide. The explanation is very important. The things I'm going to talk about um, should be eye-opening that you won't just get out of looking at the guide itself. So I want to start with faces. So the first thing is what what makes faces different? Um, how do you how do you draw faces to where they look like they're different ages? Well, the first thing with the baby face, maybe I'll do I'll do like some drawing. I don't know. Anyway, the, with the baby face, what's important to understand is the overall shape of the head. One, the shape the head is a, is a little bit smaller than an adult head. So if you would draw an adult head, you know, approximately let's say uh, this big here, then you would draw the baby head a little bit smaller than that. And also, another thing that's important about a baby head is that they have a lot of fat on the face still. Or not still. Um, they're born with a lot of fat in the face, pretty much. So you have all this fat in the face here, which comes down in the cheek area. And so you really want to kind of have more of a... Um, it almost, if you kind of look at it, it almost gives you kind of a... This kind of peanut shape here, sort of. Like that right there. That's That's the basis for a... A baby head, the the shape there, something like that. Anyway, another thing that's important when you're drawing uh, a baby face is all the features are squished up together. They're all very close and scrunched up. So when you're drawing a baby head, draw the features very close and scrunched up together, um, and then you know you'll have a lot of a lot of head. A lot of the head will be left because the face is more scrunched up close together. As a person gets older, the face begins to you know spread out and it's spread apart and fill up more of the head itself. So between the infant age and when you get toward this kind of, um, I don't know what age this would be, maybe, you know, seven or so, somewhere around there, um, what happens then is the the head doesn't get much bigger. Notice I have all the eyes are aligned here. And then I have her chin aligned just to show the difference between the adult and the teenager. So what happens then is that the eyes, you, you want to draw the eyes pretty much the same as you do for an infinite. Uh, you want to draw them large on, on younger people, a lot larger than on an adult. So draw the, keep the eyes very large. The nose will stay very close. Notice how close the nose is to the eyes on an infant. Everything's all scrunched up and close together. Keep the nose fairly close to the eyes on, when you're drawing younger people. This applies to both male and female. Then you can start to develop the lips where you can kind of see, you know, the upper lip and, and bottom lip, but you don't want to pronounce it too much. You don't want it too womanly, but, but it can still be pretty much the same as how the lips will be when they're older. Another thing that's important at this age is you really want to keep the baby fat here. Um, so if you were to draw the bone structure, you know, like that or whatever, have it like that, but then just kind of add some, just add a little bit of curve to it to add a little bit of that baby fat so it's still there. And this will help the person stay looking younger. You don't really have the benefit when you're drawing comics and stuff to like draw the details and stuff that would, you know, like a painting that would make a young girl look young if she didn't have that baby fat still. Sometimes when girls are seven and stuff, they don't have like, you can really see their jawline very, very defined. Typically they look older because of it though. So uh, when you're drawing, keep that in mind. If you want them to look younger, that's one way to do it. Notice she looks very young. When they, when they, when they reach an age where they haven't developed breast yet, so not they're not in their latter teen years, you know, 13 older or so, when they start developing breast. So they're still quite young here, they haven't developed breast yet, so maybe they're, you know, 10, 11 years old. It's kind of important, I think, at this age, still to kind of have a little bit of the baby fat in the jawline. It's not very noticeable, but it's there. The jawline is not very pronounced like it is here. But it's, you know, it's kind of like a very loose oval, oval type of line. Keep the eyes big still. You want to keep the eyes big even in their teen, teen years if you want them to look younger. If you want them to look like a slightly older teen, you, you can, you know, you don't have to make their eyes so big, but keeping the eyes big and closer to the nose. Notice I'm still keeping the eyes and nose very close together. 
they get a little bit farther as they as you draw an adult and so it'll keep them looking younger another thing is you can you can draw little shade lines to show that they still have some baby fat in their cheek area if you wanted to at this at this age here that's that's the main difference is that then between about 10 11 to you know 14 or so 16 so forth um, an older teen preteen or tween and teen so how do you get from here to here really all you have to do in the face is one the face gets a little bit longer not much but notice here the the face is still close to being squished up and short no, the face is very short here it's still pretty short the whole head is still kinda short but it's got a little bit longer now it's almost as long as it's going to be as when it's an adult when it's adult you're going to extend it just a little bit longer that is the nose is going to be a little bit longer in a, on an adult and because of that you're going to extend the face down a little bit more too so notice the jawline the chin comes down just a little bit farther it's not much it's it's just like very slight difference but that difference will will make your character look older another thing too um, is I have her eyes kind of far apart I didn't have to have them that far apart I could have brought them closer together it wouldn't really made much of, much of a difference the main thing that makes a difference here in, in, in the teen is you keep the jawline still pretty loose you don't uh, not as loose here but you still keep it looser than here so you don't have um, quite as pronounced of a jawline and stuff also the the whole head is more scrunched up and, and shorter which also gives that younger look because that's what we associate with young as you can see with the baby and and and, and little girls is that their face is more scrunched together so you still want to kind of keep that with the teen also the eyes are bigger the ratio to the nose and the eyes are very close together or rather not ratio but they're, they're close together right now then you have an adult female what changes with the adult female then like I said is the nose gets longer which extends the whole face here longer everything's not as scrunched up as much it's more evenly spaced and then you have a more pronounced jawline and those are like, those are just simple ways to really show a difference between ages now when a person gets really old what happens is these muscles here begin to sag that whole cheek muscle begins to sag and it, so it sags in here and in guys sometimes too you'll see the that muscle there kind of get more pronounced as they get older and um, so with the female you can draw a few crow's feet to show that they're getting older and that's all you have to do if you want to you can just draw the crow's feet and that'll give them an older appearance you can get darker uh, darker on this under the eyes and around the eyes in general which will give them a slightly older look you could start to draw in that line there for the cheek and this line here another thing is the jowls will, will start coming out that does this muscle that all comes around here will push down like that and so you could you know draw that as well if you wanted to and then here I have really exaggerated to really make her look very old I mean she's not super super old but a lot of her wrinkles are showing through and so you can see she's probably I don't know maybe maybe 55 or something it just depends on the girl 60 now here's just an, an, an exaggerated kind of almost Disney like character where you draw them like a like maybe the the witch in Snow White or something so I really exaggerated all the drooping muscles you really have the cheekbone here pronounced and this muscle coming down to here I really gave her uh, an exaggerated chin and um, obviously exaggerated nose I want to be realistic and, and, and bigger eyes and so forth so it really does give that kind of cool you know witch look so mess around with you know looking at pictures of different old people and stuff but those are the basic rules of how to age a person as they're from a toddler all the way to you know like 80 years old or something Next, I want to talk about the bodies. Then, now the head head things aren't all that important, but it is good. It's a good measuring device. You know, to measure a character by head is a good measuring device. I have given a really for the adult. I went all out with an eight head tall comic character. The main thing I want to point out that's most important though is notice the crotch line here as it comes out. What's important then is that there's it's shorter on a toddler. The legs from here down is shorter than here up. So that's something you, you, you should take away with younger people and it continues to be true as you can see. So this is shorter than the top. So from, from, the, from the crotch area you'll have it be a little bit longer on the top than on the bottom. So if you were to quickly draw like a diagram as you're going to have been drawing, instead of drawing you know even like this and, and then you know you start fitting all your, all your proportions in there you would you would rather draw it you would draw your measuring device like this so you know the leg areas and be shorter 
in the top area. So that's just a quick way to measure what you're drawing. You'll notice she's about three heads from the crotch up here and only about two and a half heads on the bottom. It continues to hold true, as you can see, into this area. It's, it's getting more close to even. Once you get to the teen years, it's pretty much even. Four and, and three and a half, so it's, it's almost even. And when you get to the adult, it's even. Four and four. But there are different types of body styles. That is, you don't have to draw. Once you get to the teen years, where they're starting to get developed and they have some breast, you, you know, you could, it depends how old of a teen they are and how developed of a teen they are, you can begin to develop their hips if you wanted to. But what's important I just want to talk about right now is the height, is that you can give them longer legs. So it doesn't have to be this ratio. A teen could also be, you know, like her legs could have extended down to forehead so it's even on top and bottom. You can even extend the legs down to where they're a little bit longer, but usually you do that for adults. Um, I, I probably, If you really want your character to look like a teen, it, wouldn't, it probably wouldn't be enough just to make them shorter than adults but have really long legs. So rather, probably even, even, or about what I have here. Four, three, or four, four. Or excuse me, um, three and a half, three and a half, something like that, you know, because she's about seven and a half heads tall. So just, just kind of, when you're drawing, you don't even have to worry about heads. You just, you just draw even, top and bottom, and then you begin to draw in all the features like that. But with an adult, you could, you could exaggerate with an adult, and let's say, have a little bit longer in the bottom than on the top. That way she doesn't have super long legs. And that's going to look pretty cool, uh, especially for stylized. And, you know, some, some people do have longer legs on the bottom. But typically it's even top and bottom once you get, you know, toward your adult years. But you could extend their legs longer if you wanted to. Sorry, I know I just repeated that too many times. But it's important. Okay, now, once you kind of know the general idea of the body shapes for toddlers, there's one thing you know that toddlers don't have much definition. They have a lot of fat on their body. So draw them pudgy, a lot of fat, don't get into much definition, and then that will look like a toddler's body. Keep in mind that they're only about four heads tall. So it's and also keep in mind that when you're when you're drawing your initial thing, like your if you're if you like me, you like to do this. I like to draw my little thing real quick as I'm beginning to go, just for I have an idea of my proportions. And I know that the legs are gonna, you know, fit in there and so forth. So make sure when you're when you're drawing your measuring, I don't know what to call this thing. So instead of half when you're doing a toddler, this comes way down here, and then you know you can draw all your proportions within that line. As they get older, that ratio doesn't really change too much. It does change a little bit, as you can see. It it's not quite as drastic as here. The legs get a little bit longer uh, in comparison. So when you have a toddler, you know the ratio is about here and as you get older it's not quite in half but it's about like that and it pretty much stays like that up into the teen years but only the toddlers where you really exaggerate that difference the legs are quite short compared to this top part the other thing you'll notice is that um, obviously breasts don't develop until you know later teen years so don't, you don't have to worry about drawing breast and younger people. Matter of fact, you shouldn't be drawing breast on the younger people because it's, it's not realistic and doesn't happen. The baby fat is still sort of present, uh, you know, in, in a younger person, uh, you know, eight years old or so, seven years old. You'll still see some of the some of the body fat, you know, five years old, whatever. Some of the body fat will still be there from the baby years. Once you get older, though, you know, you get to your your tween years, you know, ten, eleven or so. You'll note that um, most of the body fat is gone, but they don't have any any structure here yet. They're they're still pretty, you know. If you think about the body shape like that, they're still pretty straight, you know, narrow hips and so forth. Once they enter their teen years, they they start to get um, a slight hourglass shape, not much, you know. There seems their ribs and all this, you know, the, their stomach muscles and stuff start tucking in more. So you get more of an hourglass figure, but not quite, because it's still, you know, it's like. Um, you know, more like this, but it's kind of there, it's sort of hourglass, and some never really develop the full breast and hips, like Ali McBeal, and they stay more at like the t like a teen body, but you know their face obviously becomes adult like, and you could you could do that, but you know they're going to look younger naturally because of the kind of body you're giving them, and so just keep that in mind when you're designing characters at different ages. All right, so thank you for watching this. I hope this helps you out in drawing people at different ages.